How's it going guys? Davey here from phonebluff.com and in this video I'm gonna try to answer a question a lot of you guys have been asking me lately and that's which phone is better between the Samsung Galaxy S3 and the LG Nexus 4? And honestly that's a really tough question to answer because both phones are great. Both have the pros and cons and both are flagship devices. The Galaxy S3 is Samsung's flagship, the Nexus 4 is Google's flagship and they both bring a lot of different things to the table but ultimately there is one phone that's better for you between the two. And I can't really say you know one is better than the other for everybody because ultimately it comes down to personal preference. But in this video, we're going to find out just what phone it is that you would want out of the two. We'll start off this head-to-head -head between the Galaxy S3 and the Nexus 4 by comparing the build quality and design of each phone. The Galaxy S3 has a polycarbonate body and is available in pebble blue, white, red, and even black depending on your carrier. The S3 is both lighter and thinner than the Nexus 4 and because of this and its curved design, it's a little bit easier to hold in the hand. The Nexus 4 on the other hand currently only comes in black, but it does feel like a more premium phone than the S3 because of both the soft touch material on its edges and the Gorilla Glass covered front and back. So when it comes to looks and design, I don't think you could go wrong with either phone. The S3 gives you more color choices and feels better in the hand, while the Nexus 4 feels more premium and has that sleek black look we've grown to love from Nexus devices. Now let's talk screens. Both devices have beautiful HD displays with the Galaxy S3 having a 4.8 inch Super AMOLED display with 1280 by 720 resolution and the Nexus 4 having a 4.7 inch IPS display with a resolution of 1280 by 768. The advantages of the S3 screen are because it doesn't have on-screen buttons like the Nexus 4, you get to see your content in 720p all the time and its Super AMOLED display gives you super deep blacks and helps conserve battery life. The advantages of the Nexus 4 screen is that it has a higher PPI which stands for pixels per inch and unlike the Galaxy S3, it doesn't share subpixels which helps the overall quality of the screen. I really like the true 720p experience and the deep blacks you get on the Galaxy S3, but at the same time, I like the sharper and brighter screen on the Nexus 4 a little bit more, but just like with the design, this one could actually come down to personal preference. How about battery life? Well, both phones have 2100 milliamp batteries and everything else being equal, they should perform about the same. But the thing is, everything else isn't equal. With its energy efficient screen, along with Samsung's kernel optimizations, the Galaxy S3 lasts about 7 to 8% longer than the Nexus 4 does on an average day's use. On top of that, the Galaxy S3's battery is removable, giving it the clear advantage in this category. So, which phone performs better? First off, I want to let you know that both phones are really fast and each has more than enough power to get the job done. The Galaxy S3 has either a dual core Snapdragon S4 with 2 gigs of RAM or an Exynos 4 quad with 1 gig depending on the model. And the Nexus 4 has just one version with a quad core S4 Pro coupled with 2 gigabytes of RAM. As expected with the newer hardware, the Nexus 4 is faster in booting up, opening applications and loading websites giving it the advantage in the performance category. Both phones have 8 megapixel cameras with LED flash, but just like with the battery, the specs here don't tell the whole story. From my experience, the Galaxy S3 takes better quality photos with more accurate colors and seems not to need as steady of hands to capture a clear shot. Features wise, the Galaxy S3's camera has a little bit more with things like burst shot and photo filters. The Nexus 4 does however have the new 360 panorama mode that came with Android 4.2 which is pretty awesome. But then again, the S3 will probably get that feature too when it gets updated to 4.2 somewhere down the line. So when it comes to the cameras, the edge goes to the Galaxy S3. Call quality is about the same on both phones when using T-Mobile, but there is a noticeable difference in the speakers. You be the judge of which one is better while I play the same song on each phone. As you could see, or here in this case, the S3 speaker is louder than the Nexus 4, especially when laying on its back. So again, the Galaxy S3 gets the win in this category. On the software side of things, the Galaxy S3 has Samsung's TouchWiz UI over top of Android, which includes nice little features like wireless toggles, smart stay and smart rotation which use the front facing camera to control the screen, and motion controls which allow you to do things like swiping your palm across the screen to take a screenshot, and a whole bunch more. But it's the software on the Nexus 4 that really draws you to the phone. Being a Nexus device, it runs Android the way Google envisioned it to be and you'll pretty much be one version of Android ahead of the Galaxy S3 and other non-Nexus devices most of the time. So you'll get to enjoy the latest and greatest from Google at least a couple of months before everybody else does. 
Like some of the other categories, this again comes down to personal preference. While I like the value add-ons TouchWiz brings to the Galaxy S3, I also like the pure Google experience and the super fast updates you get on the Nexus 4. The last thing we'll take a look at are the notable features on each phone. Unlike the Nexus 4, the Galaxy S3 has full 4G LTE support, it has a physical home button which keeps you from accidentally pressing it at times, it has an expandable micro SD card slot, and it supports OTG and MHL output. Unlike the Galaxy S3, the Nexus 4 supports Qi wireless charging which means you can finally ditch the wire completely, and the slippery display lets your fingers easily glide across the screen which is great for gaming. So there you have it, that's our breakdown of the Galaxy S3 and the Nexus 4. Like we said in the beginning of the video, both phones have their pros and cons. And deciding on which phone is best for you isn't just a matter of adding them up, but it's also looking at which pros and cons are most important to you. Alright, that's it for me in this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Thank you for watching.